just the Ash wanted me to give you this. What is this? I think it'll be better if you open up and find out. Dear A.A. Ron, my time has come and now I am gone. You might feel confused as to why I am writing this letter to you after just meeting you a month ago. However, after you finish reading this, I hope you understand the reason. First, let me start off by saying I will forever cherish the very few moments I had with you, good and bad. I hope you take the advice that I gave you and apply it to improve your life. Don't have a two option. 90 days? 90 days for what? What is this, man? Yo, you dropped something. You talking to me? Yeah. No, I'm scared. Don't worry about it. I'm not trying to talk. I can help you get out of jail. Whatever you want to talk, man, make it quick. I got better things to do. Okay. So you're AA around, right? Yup, that's right. Who are you? Uh, they call me Ali. Who? Ali. Can we take a seat? Yeah, just make it quick. What are you trying to talk about? I, I know someone in counseling who could really help you out. Who? A guy I know. Listen, last time I trusted somebody like you, they came up to me the same way. They tried to help me out, nothing worked out. I think Look where I am. I think you should give me a chance on this one. I don't even know you like that. Imagine you had a son. I won't be talking about my kids like that, bro. That's one thing I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to put it that way. Not but both. I think you should give me a chance. I don't know. I'll think about it, but it's not, it's not guaranteed or nothing. Okay. Think about it. All right. I got you. What's up, Aaron? How you been, bro? I see you got that new whip? That's a little something, something. I saw you, bro. I see you, bro. Hey, man, you tried Ron. He's only a couple days. You know what's up, bro? A little something. Bro, 25 cents. What's up, bro? How you been? Yeah, good. Bro, fool, how you been? Bro, how you been? Man, you chillin', bro? Chillin', bro. See you in a minute, bro. How's your cousin? I heard you got locked up. Yeah, bro. Daddy's still showing my cousin, bro. Daddy, I was just doing a couple hours ago. We gonna get Daddy tonight, bro. You wanna come through? Yeah, bro. I'm the outside, man. Yo. What you say, fool? What? Listen, I'm gonna let you know, alright? I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know if I come on it, alright? How about my back, bro? Hey, bro, who is that? She's counseling crap, bro. They said if I don't go, I'm gonna get locked up. Bro, you ain't gotta go today, bro. bro. I'm not hey, you don't need counseling. Bro, we all chill tonight, bro. Come on. I'm about to get locked up, bro. You feel me? I'm about to get out, alright? Alright, bro. See you, man. Hello? What'd you say? Hey, oh, today, today's my day? Oh, honestly, I don't even know. Would you? No, I'm not drinking again. I told you I stopped drinking. I don't really drink anymore. I've been sober for a couple months now, you know? It's, uh, yeah, I'll go get him, my bad, okay? I'll get, drop, I'll drop my at your place, whatever. All right. Yes, I'm good. Didn't I tell you once? You want me to keep explaining you the same thing? Just sit down, stop asking questions. Don't doubt me, skin. You want to keep asking me questions? Sit down. Here. We're almost here. Perfections make you perfect. All right, get out. Go tell your mom I'll pick you up tomorrow. Housing office? Yes, it is, but we are closed now. You guys are closed? All right, I'll, yeah. I'll be back, I guess. Don't wait, don't go. There may not be another time. Come, let's start. Okay. Please take a seat. Drink this, it's well help. What is that? I didn't come here for that. The only reason I came here was because apparently you had your tools to help me with something. Okay, but drink this first. I will talk. Some sort of drug? No. 
Hell man, you sure there's nothing in here, like no drugs or anything? So it says here you have to come to counseling or you have to face time, huh? How'd you get that? The person who sent you here gave it to me. Oh, so he was your little spy, wasn't he? Don't worry, you came to the right place. I know I couldn't trust him because you're sending your companions out. Just, you got, who, who, who can I trust next? All right, how I about can't trust this? Anybody. How, how about this? Come about back tomorrow and we'll talk about more about this. I don't this. need your help. And see. I do not need your help at all. What means you think I can trust you? Look, some other people can't. I'm trying can... to help you, son. Help me. What's your son, old man? You watch your mind. I'm trying to help. That's it. I'm trying to help. Just fool, man. Just come back tomorrow whenever you can and you'll see how things work out. I'm not coming back yet. If I come, uh, we'll yes, see what I'll think about it, okay? Relax and come back. Think about it. Okay? Think, think about it. Good job, right? Once I was like you, I had many addictions that caused me to lose a lot in life. So I'm trying to help others don't make the same mistakes because they know how it feels. Yeah, but like, what more do I have to lose? You know, my stupid father, he left me when I was young. My mom, I never even had a mom growing up. My wife and I were separated. And like, I, like, I have nothing else to lose. I don't feel like I see my kid. It's like when, when I pick him up, I like drop him off at school. You know, it's like it's literally like the only time I get to see him. Like, like, home, I have like, what more do I have to lose? Like, I have my money, and you know, it's all I need right now. And like, I feel like drinking is just my way out. I feel, I feel. Well, drinking isn't the solution to any of this. And trust me when I say this, I'll get you all of that back if you just give me some time. I promise you. I don't know, but, but you know, I'll think about it, and maybe we could do this, and this is where it leads us. I said, don't worry about it. Let me just uh, I it. think that's because the bad people they hang out with. It's not what nobody's ever hanging out with. You don't stop hanging out with bad friends. You stop worrying about who I'm hanging around with. You mind your own business, okay? Listen, you mind your own. Listen, listen, man. You mind your own I'm business. Trying you want to sip? I'm trying to. No. You want to sip? No. Stop, stop sip? drinking. Put your hands off me, man. Stop. Yo. Why are you pushing like that? That's my boss, your question. Who do you think you want to just disrespect them like that? Ever since you joined Constantly, he's been trying to help you and change you. Where's your sense? Where's your humility? You probably don't know he has. Ali, that's enough. Leave. Leave. I don't, don't, say I don't say I didn't warn you. Get out, man. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Don't even worry about me, but you know that one guy that works with you, the assistant of yours? Please fire him. He has to go. Please. You may not know, but he's been through a lot as well. I like what? What did he go through? He was one of my clients, just like you. And after listening to him, he needed a job just to provide his family. I was like, is that why he was like following me and started like, he was talking to me and trying yeah. to get me with him? Yeah. I didn't know that, but... As you know, my three days are also coming up to an end, or I'll be locked up. Yeah, I know. I had your release letter today, but I don't know if you're ready. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that, but you know, I was with my friends. All right. I'm trusting you. But you have to promise me first that you won't do the same mistakes again. 
because life is so short. Yeah, I promise. You promise? Yes. All right. That's your release. What's this? Your release. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Thank you. Yo, where's the counselor? I'm talking about like why we have the same last name because I was trying to read these couple of days, but he just wasn't like answering his phone calls. I don't know if you know, but Mr. Yats has passed away. You're kidding me, right? Nah, the doctor only gave him a few weeks to live. A few weeks? Yeah. But, but the cemetery is open tomorrow if you want to visit. I have helped many people in the past few years, but my experience with you is far by the most emotional. I felt as if I have accomplished so much by being with you. I have made many mistakes my whole life and my biggest mistake was leaving you, my son. I am sorry I was not there for you when you needed me. I don't expect any forgiveness for you, but all I ask from you is to understand the situation I was in. When you were born, I was left all alone to take care of you. Your mother passed soon after your birth. Soon after her death, I was told that I was not in the best condition to take care of you because of my problems. That problem being the same as yours, that one devil of a drink, alcohol. He didn't want you to find out. He thought you would have got mad. So just take the advice he gave you and implement it in your life. Alright, thanks so much. By the way, man, I'm sorry for the trouble that put you through. You good. It's changed, you know. I made a lot of mistakes and I just can't be redoing all those mistakes again, man. I gotta take care of my kid, man. I can't be drinking and stuff anymore. Hey, come on, we gotta go! That's all I was saying, man. It's not like before, you feel me? <laughs> like, I just can't. Oh, what's up? Like, hey, what's up? I'm calling you guys back in a bit. Hey, you good? I didn't want to let it go. But mistakes after mistakes, I knew my life was going to end very soon. I wanted to see you grow up and be the person I was not. So I decided to end my long relationship I had with this devil and try to improve my life one step at a time so I could be in the best condition to meet you. <clears throat> after sobering up, I decided to help others with the same addiction because I knew how it feels to be trapped. Months later, I felt as if I was in the best condition to meet you. The day I was getting ready to meet you, I received very awful news. Due to my excessive drinking, I was diagnosed with liver cancer. I was given only a few months to live. Right when I received that news, my heart dropped. There was no way I could come meet you now. There are many voices in my head telling me, why would he want to see you after all those years just to tell him you'll be leaving him soon after a few months? I had another obstacle to overcome. There was no way I could let this be at the end. I fought my battles, and with the help of treatment, the cancer was in remission. However, the doctors told me that it was very likely that this cancer would return, which it eventually did. The doctors were very certain that this time there was no way I could overcome it. I knew this was going to be the end, so I knew I had to meet you this one way or another. This is where I promised myself that I wouldn't let you make the same mistakes that I did. I want to leave a few advice from my experiences in this life. It takes a true person to humble up and accept the mistakes that they make. There is no one in this world that is perfect. Lowering yourself does not mean weakness in any way. If anything, it means you are finding your dignity by challenging your pride. I know you do have family. You may not know this now, but deep inside, your son means the whole world to you. Don't make the same mistakes I did by letting him go or by breaking your family apart. You have a great thing going for you, and if you just humble yourself, before my death, I had only one wish, and that was to see you change and be a better example for your son, which I was not. I bid you farewell, my son, and I wish you fulfill this last wish of mine. Sincerely, Dad.